So here we have to choose the option, which is the, which is the central idea of the passage. Nature, she pardons no mistakes. Her yes is yes and her no is no. Second option is look deep into nature and then you will understand everything better. Third is nature never deceives us. It is we who deceive ourselves. All ugliness of the world can best be forgotten in the beauty of nature. So what's the correct option out of these all? Hmm? D is all ugliness of the world can be forgotten in the beauty of nature. Why second option? Look deep into nature and then you will understand everything better. If we remember the concept of change, sit straight, Manavi. All of you sit at an angle of 90 degrees. Face towards the wall, this side. So look deep into nature and you'll understand everything better. If the writer wanted to tell you like change is the law of nature, then he gave you a very beautiful description that everything changes and becomes better. So it is through nature that he taught us the lesson of change and improvement. So this is okay, look deep into nature and you'll understand everything better. Okay, now grammar part I'm doing. Second comprehension you do on your own. So the hospital board clearly mentioned, I can ask the answer from anyone. Okay, all of you remain attentive. The hospital board clearly mentioned that you dash smoke in the hospital as it is a health hazard for all. So hospital board clearly mentioned that you dash smoke in the hospital as it is a health hazard. That you cannot, that you must not, you need not, you might not. Must not. Why must not, last boy? Why must not? Stand up. The hospital board clearly mentioned that you must not. Why must not? Why we are not using cannot, need not, might not? There might be a reason behind it. Hmm? No? Where do we use must? Yes? Where do we use must? Last girl, Bhavani? Hmm? Yeah. We use must when something is to be done at compulsory basis. When something, when there is no option, must is used. Okay, when I say, beta, don't make noise. You won't listen to me. But if I say, beta, if you'll make noise, then you'll be sent home. So what will happen? I mean that you must keep quiet. Okay, must is when there is no option, when it is a when it is an official or formal order, must. You must deposit your fee. Or should I say you should deposit your fee? What is better? You must. Because it is a formal order. Okay, you should obey your parents or you must obey your parents. Hmm? Must. Jia, are you thrown out of your house if you don't obey your parents? No. You should obey your parents because it's not a formal order. It is only a, only an advice. It's only ethics. And what happens with humanity that we don't follow the ethics. Yeah, the moment there is a, a formal order, then only we listen. Otherwise, one thing goes from one ear and goes out of the, yeah. So formal orders take must, okay? So you must listen to your teacher carefully, else you will suffer in exams, right? You should be attentive in class or you must be attentive in class. 
attentive. When you are sitting, then many of you are sleeping also side by side. So there is not a very, very strict law against it. Okay, a child can sleep in class. Yes, one can. But it is up to the teachers, you know, up to teacher whether she throws you out of the class or not. Some teachers don't and some teachers. Because there is, a no, there is no law against it. Right? It's only in ethics that you should be attentive. Okay, you must appear for the exams. Is that correct or wrong? Correct. correct. Because there is no option. It's a formal order. If you won't appear in the exams, you won't be promoted. So the hospital board clearly mentioned that you must not smoke. Okay. There is never dash petrol left after Rahul uses the car. There is never much petrol left or little petrol left or many or a little. Which uh, There is never much petrol left after Rahul uses the car. And why not a little? Many of you might be thinking that a little is also correct. Lavanya will tell us. A little is correct or wrong? Hmm? There is never a little petrol left after Rahul uses the car. It should be correct. Why? It should be correct, yes, but but it is not correct. Because we don't use a little with negative expressions. If I say there is a petrol left after Rahul uses the car each time, then it would make some sense. But there is never much. So there is never much petrol left after you after Rahul uses the car. Got it? So we use a little with the, posi with the positive expressions, not with the negative ones. Okay. So same is about little. Okay, a little, little. And many is absolutely wrong. Many can never be used because many is used for countable nouns. Yes. I'm taking driving lessons now. Hopefully, I dash my driving test by November. I'm taking driving lessons now. Hopefully dash my driving test. So I will take my driving test by November or I would pass or I will have taken or I will be taking. I'm repeating the options. I will take my driving test by November. Is it okay? I will take my driving test by November. By November. Would I would pass my driving test by November? Totally wrong. I will have taken my driving test by November. Or I will be taking my driving test by November. Why I will have taken? So is it not used for will be taking? No. We don't use by expression with the future continuous. Will be taking. See the line. I am taking driving lessons now. I am taking driving lessons now. Hopefully, I'll be taking my driving test by November. Second option is correct. I mean, I will be taking my driving test by November. You say, will have taken. Because by is there. Even that is correct. So I'm taking my driving lessons now. Hopefully I'll have taken my driving test by November. So by November, that process would be over. Okay. So C option is correct. Which option displays the correct change of following to the quoted speech? Okay. Sunita asked when uh, Venkat, how much is the rent for your flat? All of you write on the statement, those who don't have the paper. And even those who have the paper, they write the answer on your own without looking at the options. 
write the answer of the statement sunita asked venkat how much is the rent for your flat sunita asked venkat how much is the rent of your flat okay now change the narration done ritika written answer sunita asked venkat how much is the rent for your flat how much is the i am saying all of you write the answer on your own how much is the rent for your flat hmm no no option for this kind of sentence option will be will be relevant only when you know the answer otherwise all option will seem correct yes jia give the answer that your jia hmm how much rent okay yes correct answer sunita asked venkat how much rent for that flat for his flat was how much rent hmm? huh? that or his ek hi baat hai na sunita asked venkat how much rent for his flat was it was an it was an interrogative sentence starting with how much any interrogative sentence which starts with h words or wh words by how and all yes beta sir go there in the end that side whenever any interrogative sentence starts with wh or h words we don't use any conjunction for example that or if that or if they are not used because this how itself is a conjunction it's it is it is itself the relative you know clause parts so sunita asked venkat how much how much again how much the rent how much the rent for his flat was so important thing is that verb comes in the end subject first then verb okay the kind of mistake you people might be committing is that you might think like was will come earlier how much the rent was for his flat so was you might feel like putting here and that is the option they are also giving okay they are giving the option sunita asked venkat how much was his rent for flat that is wrong why is it wrong can anyone tell me why shouldn't we keep was here why keeping was here is wrong who will give the answer hmm yes we always use verb before the subject in the interrogative sentences is that clear we use verb before subject in the questions but when we have changed the narration then it has become an assertive sentence and there will be a full stop can you tell me what's the kind of sentence when i say venkat uh, what what was the name sunita asked venkat what the what was what the or how much rent how much rent how much the rent for his flat was what kind of sentence is it assertive means like it's a statement but is it a simple sentence or 
कंपाउंड और कॉम्प्लेक्स सिंपल वेरी सिंपल इट इज इज इट कंपाउंड नाउ यू से मैम कॉम्प्लेक्स है ना पहले सिंपल बोलो देन कंपाउंड मैम देन कॉम्प्लेक्स ओके टेल मी वट इज अ सिंपल सेंटेंस वट इज सिंपल स्टेटमेंट can you define simple person nowadays so you cannot define simple sentence also but simple sentence is a sentence which has one subject one verb i asked my parents about my books i want to be a pilot it's a simple sentence i subject want verb one subject one verb simple sentence when there are two simple sentences joined by conjunction that becomes compound i want to be a pilot but my sister wants to be a doctor what is it compound two simple sentences sunita asked venkat how much the rent for his flat was complex because there are not two sentences joined together there are two clauses which have been joined sunita asked venkat is principal clause how much the rent for his flat was subordinate clause why are these not two sentences because these two are not the complete sentences come in in the fullest way principal clause is grammatically complete but it is not conveying the meaning sunita asked venkat full stop there is a subject there is a verb there is an object but even then it's not complete so it's a clause principal clause how much the rent for his flat was it is subordinate because it is depending upon the principal clause for its complete meaning whenever you people do narration in the the direct indirect speech is always complex form got it narrations have always complex sentences if you want to make the sentence simple can you sunita asked venkat how much the rent for his flat was make it simple yes correct sent answer sunita asked venkat venkat about the rent of his flat about the rent of his flat now there is no verb in the second part sunita asked venkat here sunita is a subject asked is verb rest is the object okay okay so now second sentence which option displays the correct change of the reporting speech she said write down she said i told daman ji i told daman ji to send you an email 3 days ago question number 23 is she said i told daman ji to send you an email 3 days ago she told that she said that sorry she said i told daman ji to send you an email 3 days ago okay now write the answer of the statement first all of you done have you written the answer Kritika, speak the answer. Show me the answer you've written. Show me the answer you've written in your own hands. You tell me why A option is wrong. That was also a very handsome sentence, isn't it? And it looked so sweet. Then why wrong? 
she told that dhavanjit had mailed you three days then why is it wrong when ritika had to give correct answer then she did not think for one second now when i am asking her to tell the tell whether the wrong sentence is correct or not then she is thinking a lot it means that earlier you did not apply your mind am i right ritika am i right did you read the wrong options yes or no tell me yes or no i'll spare you hmm yes did you read thoroughly all no yes or no no then your whole purpose of solving this sample paper has flopped many children you know they just seek the answers from here and there they tick and finish it's not important to just tick the correct option the most important is that you learn how to tick the correct option if some option is correct then you go after it like why is it correct unless and until you get the reason for crossing the wrong ones don't tick the correct option i am not going to give you marks for doing what you done but the understanding which you are missing on each day that will affect you in the paper now have as many doubts as you can if your whole all answers are wrong even then doesn't matter but what matters the most is that you learn why the options are either wrong or right that is what learning is so here the statement was she said i told damanji right so when it is she said comma in what it's comma start i told damanji she said will remain she said we will not make it told why we will not make it told because she said to if i had said like she said to me then you would have said like she told me when there is an object with said then only it becomes told what's the rule what's the rule when she said when it is only this much subject verb is there any object with it no so it will remain she said but if i say she said to me now me is object she said to me me is object subject is there verb is there object is here now said to will become told okay so accordingly you know the very first option is wrong then here because it was saying she told that so you would have like first of all said like said has not to be turned into told so cross bas aage padho hi nahi what at second option she informed me that the manjit has mailed me so she informed me it's okay even then the same it's the same rule will apply here we don't know whom she informed but even then the writer has written she informed me this much was still you know a little bit uh, we could have ignored it rest of the change is all the more wrong that the manjit has mailed so uh i told damanji to send you so totally change the sentence wrong c option is she says that how can somebody convert said into says very foolish cross so fourth option is she said that so she said i told so this much is correct she said that i told damanji who is i she she had said that she had told so told is simple past and simple past changes into past perfect so she had told the manji 
she said that she had told damanjit to send an email to me okay you you is me only why me when i am saying she said so uh, she said i told to send you so of course i will be talking to you and who is you the one who is speaking now so that person the one who is a speaker now is me so she said that she told damanjit to send an email to me three days before okay i go changes to before so this was a little bit you know smart sentence okay next sentence the dog dashed under the chair before the children arrived the the dog dash the dog has been hiding under the chair before the children arrive hmm is it okay okay the dog have was hid under the chair it never comes was hid is never correct in the active sentence in the passive it might be the dog have hid we don't use have with dog the dog had hidden under the chair before the children arrived this is correct why because this is about the two parts one action happened before the past so who was hiding under the chair before the children arrived so what happened first first the dog was hiding then the children came and with the action number 1 past perfect with action number 2 simple past janvi janvi is coming now you are here 